Jordan and I were very goofy together, so we would kind of sing along to songs or like rap to different music in the car. He was always fun to be around. You, it always made you laugh. Always had a big, big smile on his face. If you met him, you would always remember his smile. Jordan was, you know, generous with his time and he always wanted people around him to be okay. He was very kind. Uh, he believed in giving back. He often uh, did so with his teams through hockey. He was able to develop into being a fine young gentleman. Coaches had said that the only bad thing they could ever say about Jordan was he was too nice. He started at a very young age skating and uh, just kept going and didn't stop. We have a picture of him running around the house with a hockey stick around one year old, I think, before he could walk. He took his brother's hockey blades um, which were a lot too big for him because there was five years difference, and decided to start roller skating down the street at about two and a half. He just really worked at it, spent a lot of time training, and took every opportunity he could to get better at the game. He was very intense and, and driven, and he had one goal in mind, and it was breaking into the league, and, and he wouldn't let anything get in his way. To see somebody so dedicated and motivated to stick with something, um, you know, that I was very proud of him. started out like any other day we'd go to the rink to watch Jordan play hockey. My wife said to me, it looks like something going on down there. There was a player face down on the ice and you could see the number and uh, it was Jordan's number. I get on the ice and uh, I, um, I looked in his eyes and I knew there was something desperately wrong. So um, I just grabbed his hand and said, it's okay, Jordy, Dad's here. After a period of time, we're told that uh, that we could go into the emergency room that Jordan didn't make it. It was, it was a really, really hard day. And it's a day that we'll never forget. I guess ever since then, we've been trying to figure out what went wrong. It's an inherited heart condition, is what I tell people. Unfortunately, he um, got the gene. ARVC, it's, uh, it's definitely a mouthful. It's uh, arrhythmogenic right ventricle cardiomyopathy. Um, you know, from what I've learned, it, it's something that uh, is known as a silent killer. Uh, it is something that's not easily detectable unless you're looking for it specifically, um, which I think is why uh, it wouldn't have popped up in Jordan's regular routine checkups. It was an absolute shock that, uh, um, as far as we knew, he was as healthy as anybody could possibly be. Somebody can have this condition, and oftentimes they won't know it until something catastrophic happens. And 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 that's that's the scariest part is how do you how do you fix that? Around the one year mark, we wanted to celebrate his life. And my cousin and I were brainstorming and came up with a, a one day tournament that saw teams play and compete and fundraise to uh, both honor Jordan, play the sport that he loved, and, and have a happy day that, uh, in the end, can help people who are uh, affected by you know, these sort of diseases. It uh, came together in a way that was much, much more successful than, than I had ever imagined, than I think anybody had ever imagined. We have been working through the QE2 Foundation to have the funds directed to research into inherited heart disease. We've seen a lot of support from the community continue over the past few years, and uh, it's been overwhelming. And, and seeing the funds that we've been able to raise each year were uh, exceeding the year before. We've established the Jordan Boyd Foundation. We've got a scholarship fund, but beyond that, we have two things that we're also trying to advocate for, which is research and awareness. I knew nothing about this condition before it happened to us, so I can only assume that a lot of other people don't as well. Families have reached out to us saying that their children have found out that they had the same heart disease too, and they would have had no idea had they have not heard about Jordan's story. Jordan was um, very humble. Um, you know, he didn't like a lot of attention, but he'd be proud of, of knowing that his name and his story is able to help others. I think he would want uh, us to take this and try and make a difference for other people. Being a heart hero is very fitting for Jordan. Hopefully bringing awareness to it will help other people not have to go through the same thing. I know that Jordan would be the ringleader out there saying, wow, mom, this is awesome. I think that, you know, he's looking down on us and I think he'd have a big smile on his face.